Hey everybody, it's Scott from Filmora Effects and today I just wanted to show you how you can use motion tracking to blur out a face or an object if you like. And we're just going to start with this uh, stock media I pulled down from Pexels. And we'll quickly scroll through and see what we got to work with. So we're going to uh, blur out or hide this girl's face. And of course you can use this effect uh, for just about any face in a crowd, I uh, just got to be careful that uh, if someone crosses in front of this image, uh, you'll have to do a couple different motion tracks. So motion tracking is right here on this little toolbar. If you can't find it, you can click this custom toolbar and add it or remove it right there. And then don't forget to save. So I've already got mine here, so let's go ahead and motion track. The first thing we want to do is identify the area that we want to track. Now, if we just use the default, we may accidentally get something in the background. We might pick up part of her hand, etc., etc. So we're going to um, kind of adjust this out a little bit. So we're going to go more of a rectangular shape there. And the little white plus symbol that's the center that's really where we're focusing on so we're kind of lining up with her nose and we may have to adjust slightly now we go ahead and start tracking that square and we can watch it right now to make sure we didn't mess it up it's following pretty good got a little off right there but we can correct that let's let it finish tracking okay that's pretty good all we need to do now is click right here where it says link element. We can link just about any element we want. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do that. But right now we're going to choose add a mosaic. You can immediately see what happens. Uh, this one has some pretty sharp edges. It may not be what you're after, but you can use it. If you click this arrow, you can choose from a couple different ones. Um, I kind of like that one because it's more pixelated on the edges. You can blur it out to almost nothing. You can just give it a slight blur, like so. You can take the opacity down. We're gonna go 100% on it. And uh, that's it. Now we'll watch it go across the screen. So based on that, I can still see a little too much. So we're gonna blur it just a little more. You can still see a bit too much. We'll blur up to 50%. And there you go. You cannot tell who that person is anymore. So that one worked really well. I'm going to show you another one now. This is another way to take care of a, a hiding a face. So first we're just going to hide that track. Make it go away. We're going to click on this track and reset the motion track. So it is gone. So basically we're just... Back to the beginning again. Go to effects and choose an effect called face off. Stretch it all the way out. And what face off is going to do is allow you to choose one of these. You got 5, 10, 15, 20 different images or pictures that you can use, one being a colored mosaic. Uh, so what face off does is using um, AI technology it just figures out where the face is you don't have to motion track it so you start this one right about there and it just tracks for you it just does the work for you you don't have to do anything so it follows that face now if you want to uh, do something a little funny you can put one of these images over top of the face. But as you can see, these images often don't completely cover. Uh, and you can't scale these. You can't scale those, those images. So they may work for you. They may not work for you. Uh, the big smiley face works pretty good. It just kind of covers up the whole face area. There are areas, like right here, that it loses it. So you'll have to play around with the face off to make sure it'll work for you. It works best if there's no hands in the way, uh, no people in the way. So if you just got a person on camera um, and then maybe just one person walks up the side of them or something, 
uh, you can cover that face up pretty easy. And there's a few others here. You can put a brown, I think this is a brown paper bag. Yeah, put a brown bag over our head. So uh, there's a couple fun things there. Uh, let's go ahead and hide that one. Let's bring the second one back. Uh, actually, let's start over again for a second. Let's delete those two. And we are currently have no motion tracking on the bottom. So let's go ahead and pull in a sticker of some sort. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm just going to grab the first sticker I can find. All right, let's see what it is first. Uh, it's some kind of smiling face element. It just jumps around. But we're going to use that element to try to cover up her face. So now, click your first track. Turn on motion tracking. Adjust. Uh, let's hide the second track so we don't accidentally mess with that. Let's work with the first track only. Let's go ahead and get this um, square done up the way you want it. That's good. Go ahead and start it. It's pretty good. Could probably use a little more height to it. But for this uh, exercise, it's good enough. All right. Now we go down to link element. Let's turn that track on. Let's go to link element and look what we have. Smiling face pack element. Okay. So you see how this works out. If you put your element on the screen first. You can use it to track with. And you can also scale the element itself. So if it doesn't quite cover the face area. There you go. That's how you can link different elements to your motion track. Um, so if you've got a um, circle or whatever you got, you can just um, link it. So let's just put a let's just put a circle around her face this time. So let's go ahead and bring that one down. Let's take a quick look and see what it, it what it is. So it's just a big giant green circle. Okay. So let's go back down here to motion track, reset everything, turn it back on. Um, I like to hide or lock the other tracks so I don't accidentally drag it around like I just did. Good enough. It's motion tracker again. All right, let's turn it on, link it up, let's see what we got. And there it goes, tracking right around her face. Makes an excellent effect. If you want to highlight something, that's the way to do it. Anyway, I know this was a short video, but I just wanted to show you these techniques. Um, a lot of people get a little overwhelmed on the uh, motion tracking thing, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to do. Now, obviously, once you're in there, you can go ahead and mess around with just about anything you want. To change the size, change the compositing, whatever you want to do with it, and then link it in. Uh, so it's a pretty cool effect. You want to tighten that up to get a little closer around her face, you can do it. And the motion track will remember. It'll know what you're doing. And there we go. And that's it, guys. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that very short tutorial. But it is a, an important editing effect. I use motion track a lot um, to make certain things happen and we'll do a little more detail on it I think in another video we'll, we'll do like an advanced motion track and I'll show you some really wild stuff but first you got to learn the, the basics so go ahead and just try this just fire up your film R12 and um, get in there and just start motion tracking the heck out of stuff and just get really comfortable with it we'll see you soon on the next video